If I was to choose a religion, though, I'd be a Hebrew Israelite. I feel like just I'm a, I'm big on beliefs. Like I, what I whatever I feel in my body and my heart, that's just what I am. Like just um, growing up, my uncle was a Hebrew Israelite. He passed away. I looked up to him a lot. You know what I'm saying? It just the 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 little bit I know about it. You know, so I just feel like that's our true religion. You know what I'm saying? Our people are Israelites. That's what I, I believe. You know what I'm saying? Just the little bit I know about it. I've been to a couple couple services you know, when I was growing up, but no, nah, I, I, I haven't really, like, I never went to a church or nothing like that growing up or anything. But I, I mean, pretty, you know what I'm saying, eventually when that when that, when that that part of my life come, I ain't gonna, I'm not putting it aside and like that. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, not a hypocrite. I gotta, if I'm gonna do something, I gotta do it, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah, I believe in karma, man. Um, karma is real. Nothing in life is a coincidence. You give what you put out, even if you a street dude, like, I'm, bro, I don't, if I could go back and live my life over, I'm gonna live it the exact way, the same way, you know what I'm saying? You get in what you put out, no matter negativity you put out, even if you a ruthless killer, man, you gotta put some type of good into the world to get, receive good back, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't judge people by their decisions. Certain actions, certain situations made people resort to killing, resort to violence. They don't mean they're a bad person, they don't mean they're a murderer. Uh, none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't mean that's what they do, but that may be the lifestyle they live, or, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be, or we live, but I, I understand karma is real. You get you get what you put out. Like, it may not even come back to you, you know what I'm saying? You may be a negative person, and it may come back to your little brother, your little sister. That's karma, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what life about. Like, you put in good, no matter what you do, you put in good on top of that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like good to come back to you, you know what I'm saying? Like. And I, I ain't even really big on, like, religion or nothing like that, but I read the Bible a couple times, you know what I'm saying? The Bible had, like, violence in it. The Bible had killing in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. I feel like what you put in is what you get out. Like, you could be a certain type of person, a street dude. Like, I'm from the streets, you know what I'm saying? But I always had morals and put good out into the world, you know? So blessings always came back to me. Like, I feel like you put negativity out constantly, you're going to receive negativity back. So that's karma. That's for real. And and to be honest with you, man, it's like I'm not afraid of nothing, but I'm afraid of death just because. I ain't gonna say I'm afraid of death, but that's what that's what keep me alive. I can't walk these streets like I'm not afraid of death. Well, I ain't trying to die today. I ain't finna walk out this place and be like, yeah, I ain't afraid to die. You know what I'm saying? That's why I move the way I move. I carry myself the way I carry myself. And honestly, like, the bigger I get, death will get closer to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't away from death, you know, so I gotta stay ground. I gotta stay humble. Like, my cousins, are, call me or hit me on Instagram like I had a dream about you, I had a dream you died or you know what I'm saying, anything happened. Like I heard my girl say she had a dream I died before, you know, like and I wanna hear that. Like when you say that to me, I wanna hear it. So that's just gonna make me stay on my toes even more, stay on on my P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying? Just I I've been dealing with death all my life, so it's not nothing I'm afraid of, you know what I'm saying? I'm immune to it, but you gotta be afraid of death, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be thinking about how am I gonna come on top of this battle? Like, if I, if I face somebody else and it's me or this person, I'm not trying to die, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to come out on top, so that's enough. That's the, all the fear I need, you know what I'm saying? Fear of just not making it home is enough for me. I ain't even thinking about myself. I'm thinking about all the people I'm gonna let down. I feel like I, 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 I and it's crazy. I haven't lived my life, but it feel, I feel like I lived my life so many times over, I done did so much. I know my mother, like even she, she still she she have to worry about so much. But I know I done done so much for her. She don't never gotta look back. My little sister, stuff like that. But I'm not dying, like you know. What I'm saying? I can't, you know. I ain't even, I ain't gonna say I can't, like. But that's what I think about, you know. What I'm saying I think about my mama, my little sister, stuff like that. Like I can't let them down. It ain't even about me no more. Cause I was out here facing death every day and not nonchalant about it back then. If somebody wanted to kill me, they should have killed me when I was 18, back when I ain't care about death right now. I can't even let nobody get close enough to me now. Back then, I was just out here living, and whatever happened, happened. If I did 100 years, 30 years, dad, I was losing my homies, so my mind was on a whole nother level. Like, I was really thinking like a gladiator. Like, I feel like in Iraq, when people go out to the army, you can't think about your mother, father, your kids at home, because that'll be the quickest thing to kill. You got to think about fighting being a gladiator, being a fighter, a soldier, a warrior, like 
when you in the streets, you got to think the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I know you got love for your mother, father, whatever, but you can't be thinking about getting home or whatever. Can't, like, you could think about getting home, but at that very moment, you got to think about what you facing right then. You know what I'm saying? So when I was thinking like that, that was probably the best chance somebody else to try to run up and do something to me at right about now. Yeah. Ain't happening, man. Big bro, Mickey saying, how did the fuck did Herb let somebody kill him? Like that, the fear of that, me leaving those people with that, leaving my mama with that, how could they, he let this happen? Or, you know what I'm saying? My sister, like, I'm me, I'm two people, my family would, wouldn't know what to do without me, and I'm me, like, I'm, I'm 10 steps ahead of the streets, I'm 10 steps ahead of anybody who feel like they want to harm me, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I got, I got, it's not even a fear of dying, it's a fear of, how could you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I think about with my homies. Like, I just lost one of my older homies and that's the, like, that's what's stick in my head. Like, how the fuck could you let somebody kill you? Like, how, you know what I'm saying? You know we got bigger plans out here. That, the fear of that, just the fear of me leaving people with that unanswered question, like, how? That's what I'm scared of, like, I can't let nobody do that to me. That's why I'm extra on point. Like, I'll go do 100 years before I leave somebody out here, my brothers who I'm with every day, like, how? What happened? How could you let your guard down? Like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a question that's gonna always be in somebody's head because they wasn't there. How did you let somebody get the upper hand on you? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got fear of. That's the only thing I fear about death. For real.